My name is TJ, and you suck at battle bit. But TJ, you were the vector, and the grows are broken. Uh, no, it's you. You're broken. But I'm here to fix you, all right? More specifically, your eyes. So take a seat. Let's get started. So first of all, depending on how sweaty you want to get, the game can go from looking like this to looking like this. Also, I hope you noticed on the top right corner, your FPS is going to go from this to this, which is crazy. So let me show you how to get to it. If you aren't one of those sweat lords that wants to play on a stretch resolution, then feel free to just take over the settings that you see on the screen right now. I'm hovering over the screen scale option because that's normally set to 100% and putting it up to 400 might give you a little less FPS, but I haven't noticed a lot of uh, drops or anything. Other than that, screen shake on zero is going to help you a lot and your field of view. Don't go up too high because everyone's going to look pretty small and don't go too low because everything is too zoomed in and you can't really see to your left or your right. Scroll down a little bit and we get to the shadows. I personally enjoy the game more with shadows disabled because it gives me better visibility in dark spaces around things like foliage and trees as well. Uh, shadow res and all that doesn't matter really because you have it disabled. Now anti-aliasing. Since I have the screen scale at 400, I don't really need any anti-aliasing. Destruction quality basically means the amount of debris that falls off of buildings when you shoot walls and stuff like that, so I keep that at the lowest to keep the clutter to a minimum. LOD quality, I have that maxed out, which means objects in the distance don't get blurry or fuzzy as quick as they do on lower settings. Numbers of lights, pretty straightforward. Rain quality, set that to lowest as well, so you can kind of see through the rain a little bit better. This also affects snow. Not 100% sure though, let me know in the comments. Render distance, 4000. I mean, I have a pretty beefy computer, so that's fine. If you're not sniping at 1000 meters, I set that to 1000. Shader quality, have that on lowest. You can change the shader quality if you don't like it, but I personally am used to it by now. At the very bottom, you got image effects and I turn everything off. Maybe you like ADS effect. It kind of blurs your sight when you aim down sight so you can focus on the dot more. But uh, yeah, apart from that, those are my settings. I have one more thing to show you though, which is how to do the stretched resolution, which is basically just you click one button, you put the right resolution in and you're done. If you're not sure what resolution to put in here, I'll put those on screen. Make sure you leave it as exclusive full screen so that it fills up your entire monitor and you're good. If you've been living under a rock and don't know what the effects are, they basically make everything wide. Like <laughs> very, very wide. You might have to increase your mouse sensitivity a little bit or change your field of view around. But yeah, once you get used to this, this is really helpful for getting headshots. Personally, I don't really use the stretch res in Battlebit because uh, I'm not garbage like you. <laughs> I want to th <laughs> I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you had a little chuckle. Maybe I give you some information you didn't know yet. And I guess I'll see you on the battlefield. I mean the bat the battle. I'll I'll see you guys out there. Peace.